Another very important aspect for BIM software is the integration of the architectural model with the structural model to perform a structural analysis and calculation. Let's go to the plan view here and notice that we already have various structural elements such as the columns. These structural members are clearly the architectural objects that were used in Edificius. Let's now launch the integration process with Edilus, our structural analysis software. This is in fact the Edilus interface where we can see that we have imported the Edificius architectural model. Transparency and the visibility settings for our members also allow us to proceed with structural analysis and design in the most comfortable working conditions possible. For example, let's filter down and concentrate our attention only on the columns in the imported architectural model. Using the architectural model as a reference, we can now proceed to modeling the structure. So let's start off from the columns. Simply choose a material and start to insert them manually or even generate them from the architectural model. In the very same way we can proceed by placing the beams in plan view and maybe by hiding any entities that we don't need. We can of course insert them manually one by one or as seen before generate them automatically by recognizing the architectural entities used in edificius. Let's now finish off modeling by removing any unnecessary beam sections and adapt the others. And as you can see here, this is the result of our structural modeling in 3D so far. At this stage, let's now insert the building's foundation beams by copying those already present in this floor plan. And we now simply need to adapt the columns by extending them down to the foundation beams. At this point we simply need to modify the section and the beam type. To finish off, let's now insert a floor slab. With the basic copy features already seen in Edificius, we can copy entities to higher levels very quickly. A combined viewing mode allows me to see the architectural model and the structural model together so as to see how they fit with each other. We can then proceed to remove or adapt excess or clashing entities. The model seems ok at this point so we can move on to launching the calculation of the structure. The calculation process has terminated so let's take a rapid look at the kind of results that we have obtained from Edilus. As you can see we have rapidly generated the frameworks, the reinforcement schedules, for both columns and beams.
the calculation reports. and a detailed cost estimate of the entire structure. At this stage with the verified structure we can reintegrate back into Edificius and notice that we now have the structural model in Edificius and the architectural environment. If we hide the architectural model, we can now see the structure imported from Edilus into Edificius. We have in fact integrated the architectural and structural entities in a single model. Cost estimating is obviously another important feature so let's take a look at how this is achieved in Edificius. When we launch this specific environment, it brings us to a dedicated area of the program where we have the measurements editor on one side and the architectural model on the other. The cost estimate is produced by assigning a price list item to the architectural entities present in our BIM model. Let's open our reference price list and directly view our uh, model in the 3D view. With use of the selection filters, we'll select the entities that we want to account for. For example, the building envelopes. With the building envelope selected, let's quickly choose the appropriate price list item with a simple drag and drop and assign it to the selected entity. With this first association between a cost item and a BIM entity, the program then proposes a series of measurement models. These are of course very useful for speeding up the quantity surveying phase with predefined variables for each kind of entity. In this case we want to use a model to measure up the wall surfaces considering net of openings. As you can see in the measurements editor, we have all of the measurement details automatically inserted. In this very same way, let's proceed with measuring up our windows. Price list items and entities are uniquely associated in this way. In fact, if we select an object in the model, for example this window, the object is highlighted with all of its relating BOQ information. But what happens if I modify the model? Well, even if I need to make changes to the model at this stage in the design phase, all entities will be dynamically updated in the cost estimate too and with the automatic recalculation of all quantities and amounts. If I select the measurement row in the cost estimate this specific entity will be highlighted in the model together with the entities to which it relates. Once we have completed the association of price list items to the model entities, we can also view quantities and amounts only of the selected entities. If necessary, 
in case we need more advanced cost estimating features or for example we need to add costs for elements that aren't present in the architectural model we can integrate with Primus the program for cost estimating and rate analysis with advanced features once the integration with Primus is accomplished we can see that we still have the cost estimate of our project as prepared so far in it features but we now can add extra items and new measurements let's say for example we need those that refer to a technical system we can still continue to benefit from the Primus integration session and import measurements from other documents and carry on with detailing descriptions to complete the cost estimate when we then close the file in Primus the estimate is imported back into Edificious where the estimating environment is updated with all of the added information at this point all we need to do is finish our project by printing the cost estimate on paper or if necessary simply export it in various other document formats